Look at around you. Have you ever asked yourself how much fuel that must be used by people every day to fulfill their needs? Starting from vehicles, big factories, and also electricity. It must be a very huge number, isn't it? Then imagine, if one day there is no fuel left in our earth, what will happen? Can we survive? Can we even continue to live? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my dear friends and the honorable judges. I'm Felni Sapana Putri from Islamic Senior High School Number no. 1, Lubuk Linggau, standing in front of you to deliver my speech, entitled, How do Renewable Energy Save the World? Well, viewers, as we know, since a long time ago, humans have been using coal as the main ingredients of power plants and fuel. But did you know that coal is classified as a non-renewable energy source because it takes millions of years to form? According to emberclimate.org, a global professional team for the future of energy sector, Coal to Clean Energy Policy, stated that coal-fired power generation, which is used in Indonesia, will increase from 53% in 2015 to 60% in 2019. In 2015, Indonesia consumed more electricity, around 7% more than usual, and it is going to increase every single year. Isn't it very imbalanced with the supply of coal itself? And even look at the mass created by coal, air pollution that triggered global warming. So, my dear friends, in this occasion, allow me to introduce you to the solution to save our Earth, renewable energies. Now, how do renewable energy save us? Firstly, let's talk about types of renewable energies. So, the first one, solar energy. Dear friends, have you ever feel the heat of the sun that burns your skin in the middle of the day? Yes, that kind of heat is what we call as a solar energy. The heat from the sun can be converted into electrical energy and fuel by using a modern device called solar panels. The second one, hydroenergy. Hydroenergy is the use of falling or fast running water by using a water wheel to produce electricity and power machine. The next one, geothermal energy. We can find geothermal energy from the heat of the Earth's core. It is more friendly because it only released a little amount of greenhouse gases. The fourth one, biomass energy. From what I learned from my biology class, biomass energy is the type of renewable energies that come from plants and animals. Biomass energy can be converted into renewable liquid or gases through various processes. And then the last but not least is the wind energy or we usually call as a wind turbine. If you ever see a giant white fan in the middle of a grass field, that's a wind turbine. The movement of the wind turbine can be converted into mechanical energy and converted into electrical energy. So, my dear friends, there are so many benefits that we can get from these renewable energies, which are easy to find, free from pollution, cheap, reliable, friendly, and finally, it can create many job opportunities. Until 2021, many countries have been used these renewable energies, which are England, Japan, Turkey, Australia, Spain, and USA. And hopefully, Indonesia will be the next country which is used in renewable energies in all sectors of people's life. Amen. Maybe that is all for me. I hope we'll meet again soon. See you on top. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.